Hello friends, welcome back to another session. S4 HANA 9909 and Global Business Processes. Here we have completed OTC and QTC cash sales, rush order, returns, free of charge, subsequent free of charge, third party. IPO I have stopped because uh, the practice server is getting some issues at the time of doing MIGO. And for these two processes also, your MIGO should work. Otherwise, if goods receipt, it won't work. You cannot able to do it uh, for the time being. Sorry for apologies. And it will be covered in future sessions. We have created service order, debit memo, credit memo, and invoice correction request. Now, today we are going to see the most important business process in intercompany sales in a standard way. So probably like if any in future, if you get any chance, I will do separate session with IDOCs output determination. But now standard way, let's try to check how extend it works. Let's uh, go to intercompany session. Okay. Let me try to go here. So now we are going to see intercompany sales okay so for this intercompany sales what should you require first thing is that you required ordering company code company code and next you required uh, delivery company code so certain cases, uh, they will call it, it as a supplying company code. Just uh, the words differs. And this is receiving company code. Okay. Now we got, that means we need a uh, two company codes in between the sales will happen. Enter means, see, Inter means two, two company calls. This already ECC people aware of this, but still I'm explaining if any new users are there. So now what should be done? So let's take ordering sales area. And this is supplying or delivery sales area. Okay. So now let's go to the SAP system. So in between, so for example, I have a X customer is there. So you can call it as a normal customer. Okay, general customer. Okay, you can take general customer for your ordering sales area. Okay, he raised an order. So ordering sales area having some one plant Okay, let's try to go to the SAP and let's try to copy those settings. So it will be easy for us. Let's go to the S4 HANA now. So let's check reference IMG. So let's try to check whatever the company codes we have created. Okay, let's go to assignments. Let's go to financial accounting so two company codes need to be created because it is happening in between two company codes so let's go to the uh, let's try to go for settings like uh, uh, sticks general sn plan to company code okay now let's click here gs01 Let's uh, go down. See, this is GS01 is the company code. Okay. This is ordering company code. This is for uh, European countries. This is the rest of Europe. You can say like this. For this, let me copy this. Okay. So that you will have a better understandability. So GS01, GSEP, 
gs02 gsup so let's go again to excel so the plant is the company code is gs01 so the delivering company code is gs02 i think this company called is for domestic eu so this is uh, export to you other than any other customers if it comes so like you know basically to have two company codes under two sales areas so in this gs01 your plant okay your c is receiving plant okay gscp don't confuse so this is supplying okay gs up so this x customer any one of the customer we created this x customer ordered in this sales area for sales order what is our sales area we will see quickly in s4 hana so if you see here these are the company code and plans assignment now let's go to the sales org let's try to check the sales area because your customer is ordering for ordering sales area okay so let's click on gs01 gsd1 domestic sales area basically i have three divisions one is uh, company owned and retailed uh, sorry distribution channel three distribution channels are there apart from that i have three divisions coffee divisions and the health drinks and teas these are my products so gsd1 gc and cc and for wow 6 gs uk gc cc okay so let's uh, go back again so let's go to the excel so you have gs d1 is the sales organization and uh, when it comes to this uh, your distribution channel is gw wholesale will take and cc coffee division so your customer is ordering product x is ordering product from this and gs uk it's uh, there in uk london and uh, for uh, another company code and cc let's say jim you got an order from this x customer but uh, in this plant stock is not available uh, for 100 pieces so this plant is having the stock certain cases this ordering company rise uh, purchase order po to this company on behalf of my general customer x okay so how system will understand all these settings that's all defined your enter company settings so when this is the done then your uh, delivering plan should be supplying plant a supplying plan should be gsup okay for that we will see the settings this is the supplying plan it will make the setting it will i will make the settings in uh, s4 ana how we have done in acc so this is how it supplies when it is supplying you try to understand more important thing like you know when it rises to po uh, so then uh, this uh, ordering plant will uh, ordering plant or receiving plant will be the uh, customer to in supplying sales area so that means on customer is created that that should be connected for your ordering sales area so indirectly if you can see 
the supplying plant will become vendor to your ordering sales area. But a direct or indirect way, if you can try to observe this, when you get an order from X customer for 100 pieces, that 100 pieces will be delivered by another company code. That means whatever the order, uh, whatever the initial purchase order you're receiving from a general customer in your supplying sales area, I mean, ordering sales area, order will be created. That order will be converted into another PO for supplying plant so that, you know, this company will send. So here, the product is assume that 100 is 100 euros, but uh, the supplying plant for supplying this this ordering uh, uh, sales area, uh, ordering uh, ordering company. So it is charging like you know uh, 95 euros. So that means uh, you have a five euros profit. Total delivery will be done by supplying plant. So then they are getting their own way, like, you know, 95 euros as a profit here. So for this, this supplying plant, supplying company code will raise a bill to ordering company code. That we will call it as an intercompany bill. This we have already seen in ECC, but BP level, how it works, we'll try to experiment it today. Okay. So let's try to keep the momentum going on. So I just uh, didn't do any initial setting setup. Like if any errors comes while recording only, I'll try to resolve it based on my experience. So, so okay. So this is all about uh, your theoretical session. So this, uh, that means next session, we're going to see intercompany sales. What are the settings we required? Okay. So then that means like, you know, regular way, if X customer ordered 100 customer, 100 products delivery and billing will be there. Okay. If it is delivered from, if it is delivered from your GSCP, okay, regular order. So, but since you don't have a stock, you have a dependency of checking your sister concern company or else another company altogether, asking uh, asking uh, them like uh, this company will be vendor to this company. Okay, always remember. So that GSUP will supply the goods. So when they will supply the goods through GSUP, so then when you got order initially for GSUP, from the customer, you have to manually change or else in a material master, you can able to directly, uh, because you never ever try to use your own inventory, such cases also, you can automatically uh, try to redetermine GSUP. So it's uh, real time I have seen. So automatically you will be extended for GSUP plant. So then, uh, you know, your, your 100 stock will be directly picking from this plant. So then uh, delivery will be done through GSUP. And uh, so for 100 goods, if you received the customer, so your ordering company code is GS01 and a receiving sales area rise a bill to this customer that is F2 document. So for sending the goods from GSUP GSUP to this customer, so they have some costs incurred. So that's why your delivery company code rise a bill to your ordering company code. Okay. So that's why you, that's where your inter company bill comes into picture. So here we will see the settings. Okay. That means two bills will be driven back one by one. So after F2 only IV will be created. So generally sometimes through jobs, some, uh, maybe some, settings due to because of some settings in support you will get issues like an iv created but f2 is not created maybe certain reasons like in you know, a building block or some other stuff but generally based on our standard settings we if uh, customer is not received the stock customer bill it is not raised it cannot be created your iv document okay this is all about a brief about intercompany sales. So now let's try to check what are all the settings that involved in the next session. Okay.
Thank you. Happy learning.